we had customers that came in, what do you mean you don't have Guinness? For God's sake, that, that can't be right at all. Welcome to the Amid Life Traveler podcast, where we want you to go see the world, discover interesting stories about people, places, and practical advice to help you plan your next vacation. Hey, hello, and thank you so much for choosing to tune in and listen to the A Midlife Traveler podcast. Today, we have a really fun episode, something that I found completely fascinating when I was recently in Ireland, and I live in the Pacific Northwest of the United States, and we're really big on our microbrews and our craft brewing over here, and so I was very pleasantly surprised when I visited Ireland and discovered a lot of really great craft brews that are out there on on tap and that there's a growing movement towards craft breweries but I also love myself a pint of Guinness I do I, I'm a Guinness drinker and I really like Guinness so this story that we're going to share with you today is with Patrick McGrath who manages the Ross Hotel in Killarney Ireland and he's going to tell you about a bold move which was to replace Guinness on tap with the local microbrew Killarney Stout. Now, when I was in Killarney, I went to the Killarney Brewing Company and tried a lot of their beers, but I didn't get to try the stout because they were out. and They were going to be out for about a week and a half. And while I was at the brewery, they told me that the one and only last keg in Killarney was at the Ross Hotel at the lane bar so naturally I sought that out and so here is a really great story with uh, Patrick telling you about the decision and how they swapped out Guinness on the tap handle for Clarney Stout. January 2015 we decided that we were going to hang up and say goodbye to our Guinness tap. What? Yes. Oh, that's like blasphemy. You're it's, in Ireland. It's not like blasphemy. It is blasphemy. Like, I mean, we had customers that came in, what do you mean you don't have Guinness? For God's sake, that, that can't be right at all. Now, Paris, there, there's also a Murphy's Stout, which in Paris of Cork, they'd have Murphy's instead. But like, you, in Ireland, law dictates that you have to have one or the other. <laughs> but you got to have Guinness. There's no two ways about it. So being craft and trying something different and supporting a local business, we, I went to the brewery and I said, uh, guys, I have an idea here and you're going to laugh at me. And I said, what? I said, I want to take in the stout. I said, but that's not funny. What's there's nothing wrong with that. I said, I want to take it in and have it be our only stout and take out Guinness. And straight away, there was a guy named Tim and there was Barry, the general manager. And the two looked at each other and they were like, oh, really? And I was like, yeah. I said, I've got permission from the from the powers that be above and I would really like to do this with you. So they're like, yeah, love it, definitely. So that could be, you could be part of the reason why they're out. Actually, the bartender, uh, Brendan, told me that when I asked, well, you're out, why? He said, well, it is a staff favorite. It's a staff favorite <laughs> and it's a local favorite, but like they're pouring stout in maybe five, six different bars locally. But we were the first ones taken in and we would probably do more stout than anyone else. So that's why we got the last cake. So it's not like it's gone forever. It'll be back. They're, it's just their, their timing of their batches was a little bit behind. So Friday, Saturday, next week, the stout will be ready to go again. So we'll be we'll we will be out for maybe a week. Um, yeah, it was a fun decision. Like, from my own point of view, like, uh, like, I'm a young hotel manager. Like, and I, I like to do things controversial and I like to you know stir the pot and try new things and take a chance. It worked quite well. Absolutely, it definitely worked quite well. Uh, it's completely different to Guinness. It's sweeter. It's a stronger ABV and it's got more of a bite. But it, it's nice. It's really good quality. And of course, after I spoke with Patrick McGrath, the next day I made my way to the Lane Cafe and I sat down at the bar and met the bartender named Stephen, who talked a little bit more about that transition and his experiences. So basically in the Ross Hotel, we have Guinness, oh sorry, we don't have Guinness, we have Clarny Stout instead because we support local. So in Ireland, you kind of get the way that it was, how do we split it? Ireland's associated with Guinness. 
and for a place in Ireland like the Ross to have Clarny Stone set against it a lot of people don't agree with it so you have these old elderly the gentlemen that come in and they're like 70 to 75 years of age and they turn around to you and they're like to their friend Paddy and be like Paddy do you want to, what you want can I get two Guinness there and they'll come over to me and be like sorry Stephen can I get two pints of Guinness and I'll be like no we have Clarny Stout instead though and he'll look at me with an absolute disgust on his face and say that's sacrilegious he'll walk straight out the door he won't even ask me what else do you have on tap he's just gone straight to the nearest bar that has Guinness where is that nearest bar with Guinness? probably Courtney's just up the road but it's not as good as us oh, yeah, true. of course of course <laughs> Yeah. This is delicious. It has kind of a chocolatey. Um, yeah. So what it is, it has, it has a lot more hops and it has a lot more malt and, and they use chocolatey malts inside it, which bring out the flavour in it. So creamy. Yeah, it's very nice. I won't lie. I've had a few of them on my nights off as well. It's rich. It tastes like a, like it's a very rich tasting. Beer. Yeah, it is indeed. Dessert. It's very different. Yeah. Isn't it's definitely not like Guinness. Yeah, I can see why it's out. <laughs> If you want to learn more about any of the things we talked about here, Killarney Brewing Company, the Lane Cafe at the Ross Hotel, please visit our website at midlifetraveler.com where every episode we produce has a blog with show notes and resource links to places mentioned in each episode. Also, if you have ideas for us for future shows or you just want to give us feedback, we really welcome hearing your comments, your ratings and reviews, because everything that you say helps us make future shows even better. Thanks, have a great day, and happy travels wherever you may go. Hey, let's go see the world. Really appreciate it.